Hi guys, welcome back. I just got a few updates for you guys. Um, after installing the Turbo Kit, there's a few things you got to keep in mind. I just wanted to run through these things so you guys will be aware of what you'll be dealing with. Um, as we all know, this is the top mount Turbo. And what you have to keep in mind is that your engine bay is going to be really hot and even if you have a, a turbo sleeve and you have your your pipe wrapped and everything you're going to have tremendous amount if you're going through here any of this harness touches these pipe they will get damaged um so be prepared to either wrap these cables or harness properly that go through that, not to mention the fuel rail, especially the fuel rail that comes up through there, that is critical because uh, now we're talking about fuel efficiency. Um, this engine bay gets so hot that that fuel rail, even though it's covered, it's getting to the point where I think is not efficiency enough to give you the horsepower you're looking for uh as we all know the gasoline gets to a boiling point where you won't see bubbles in the line um and that's going to create you know space or or, or um, there's going to be airspace air pockets in your line and when that what when that uh fuel is getting pushed through the to the engine to the injectors you know that's going to affect you obviously so i'm thinking of um removing or maybe replacing the fuel lines with hoses to come to come through this side of the engine instead of this side because I noticed that when I'm boosting probably 12 13 pounds sometimes you're gonna hear that uh, the power cut off a little bit because your fuel might be too hot going into the injectors and that's where your return fuel line comes into place which I'm still waiting for uh, it looks like a CJM it's behind on back orders on the uh, S1E system. And I won't get into April, uh, maybe mid-April. So um, I've, I did a few things to make this engine breathe properly for the heat. As you guys remember, I put the, uh, the vents on the hood. I had to continue by getting the uh, air duct so that the air goes through there and, and reaches my, uh, my turbo. You know, and that's that really did help a lot. Um, my car is 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 you know I, I've been picking up more you know more power because fresh air is coming in through the system. I also cut my my bumper so that the intercooler can get uh, that fresh air coming in without no uh, nothing in the way. I am concerned about my oil cooler that sits behind the intercooler. It's you know it really is not getting a straight fresh air heating it so that's my next uh step how to figure it out how can i get more fresh air into the oil cooler um i was thinking about um, doing my own return system so i purchased a few things i'm um, still trying to get the information that i need to get installed properly but I, I did get some few rails um that i i know that um they're going to be a, a good benefits for it uh, got you know the hoses, pressure hoses, braided hoses, and it comes with all the fittings. Um, and of course, this uh, adapter that I'm going to need when um when I'm replacing the factory fuel line. But um, I'm still doing some some research to see how uh, how I'm going to configure the lines and how I'm going to configure the uh, fuel pump to be able to deliver uh, the fuel back. Or the lines to be able to deliver back the the fuel to the to the tank, because basically your fuel return system, what it does is just keeps your your fuel uh, circulating through the engine, so that the fuel doesn't get pressurized on your lines and it's and it's just stuck there boiling up. Um, the fuel the fuel return line just sends the fuel back to the tank and you get fuel fresh fuel come back to your lines, and this is how your uh, fuel becomes efficient. Um, 
together with the pressure regu regulator that makes sure that you get the right PSIs and the right pressure on your fuel. And if you have for more pressure, the fuel regulator is going to open up and give you more, more fuel pressure. So um, I wanted to show you guys how this part right here, if you can see that this is bended, that's from the heat that's coming out of my, my engine bay. Um, so, so like I said, it's, it's really, really critical if you don't have your car breathing properly, which probably the best way to, to uh, go with is getting a carbon fiber hood and with big bends on it so that you'll be able to re release all that heat. Um, my next update, which I will be sharing with you guys today, it's uh, installing aftermarket bucket seats on my car. You know, we, we need to be secure. My car right now, it's, it's pulling really, really hard. Every time I'm, I do a pull, sometimes I'm, I'm even going a little bit sideways on third gear. So I went ahead and purchased um, the aftermarket uh, brackets for this uh, new seats that I, just, that I just received today. This is what they look like. I know these will match just, just right with my color. There's nothing really wrong with my seats, but I have, I have the, uh, the means of feeling, feeling protected when I sit in there strapped in, especially on a convertible, you know, you want to make sure that you, you, you're not going to go out flying when you, if you, if, if you flip over, you know, God forbid. But, um, I also received the, uh, seat belts. Let me see. Here they are. Um, this is my uh, my protection. Yes, I need to make sure that these things are strapped into me because um, I'm glad I also went with big rotors because this this things will stop. And when you do a lot of pulls, your brakes they get hot. And if you got factory brakes, factory rotors, hey, you're not gonna stop. You're gonna keep going. And I trust me, you need to stop when you're going this quick. Um, so I will start on the seats and I will report back what it looks like after I'm done. Also, there's a harness that comes for your fuel pump with a relay on the kit. Install it because your fuel pump depends on the ignition power to pump. So by installing the harness, it's constant power to it when it needs it. So make sure you install that harness and that uh relay if you guys need instruction on it make sure you ask your tuner or whoever you purchased it from and if you guys you know if you guys want it for me i got the instruction i can definitely send it to you i got them all in pdf file but um i will continue with my seats installation these are in good condition though the ones i have but like i said i want to be able to feel secure so stay tuned thanks for watching